Well, hello there, Google admins. I wanted to showcase a tip found by our top-notch technician, Matt Brenovic, here at Mobile Tech Services. What he found today uh, was a setting buried within the Google Admin console that allows you to set the resolution for a Chromebook. All right, so that's what I'm gonna show you how to do today. So by doing this, this is gonna alleviate a good portion of those issues that we have come testing day. I've been in the fields many a years, jumping through classroom, hitting control, shift, plus and minus, trying to zoom back and forth to fix resolutions on Chromebooks. This will fix part of that problem. And what I wanna do is showcase how to do that, first of all, in the Google Admin Console, and then what that looks like on the Chromebook, because we have the technology. Asterisk though, uh, the deal is it doesn't fix it within the testing kiosk app. They still can zoom in and out, zoom in and out, but it is going to prevent the student from zooming in and out outside of the testing app, which is, I think, where the problem begins. When the student, whether they zoom in or out, you know, typically this would be an accessibility feature that they're zooming in and zooming out trying to resolve, or they're just a turd and they're zooming in and zooming out just to screw with you and make your day awful. Um, this is going to prevent that from happening. Okay, so, but again, when they jump into the kiosk app, they can still zoom in and out. But I think at that point, uh, the testing app might be okay with it. All right, so let's go ahead and showcase how this is gonna work. I'm gonna jump over to the desktop. We're inside the Google Admin Console. And where we wanna go to first is this one right here. It is our devices. Okay, so I'm gonna click on devices. And then up here in this corner, we wanna click on Chrome, go down to settings, and then click on device. Once we click on device, we're going to go to this top search feature and we're gonna type in resolution. Okay, and it's gonna jump right to this display setting option right here. So right here, I have mine already set. By default, it says allow users to overwrite predefined display settings, which is recommended. And the reason Google is recommending that, very important, is because it is an accessibility feature and they don't want to prevent somebody with poor vision from being able to zoom in with Chrome. However, my suggestion, not that I'm a lawyer nor do I play one on this YouTube video, is that you only do this come testing day, right? Or maybe a day prior to testing day, this is gonna turn it on and prevent the kid. Even if they've zoomed all the way out, the next time they log into their Chromebook or if they reboot their Chromebook, it should turn this option back on, okay? So I would suggest you only do this and you're doing this for testing security purposes because that test only likes 1366 by 768. That's that special magic resolution that it absolutely must have in order to function correctly. Otherwise, the world will explode, right? So anyway, what we're going to do is not allow to use or to change this. Then we're gonna scroll down to where it says internal display scale percentage. We're gonna leave that on 100%, okay? And so then we're gonna scroll up to the top and we're gonna hit save, right? And as soon as we hit save, I'm just gonna jump out of there because it's already saved. We're gonna give it a few magic moments to allow the policy to update in the Chromebook. Once that's updated in the Chromebook, now we're gonna jump into the Chromebook and you can see I've flattened one out here just to show you, <clears throat> excuse me, what it looks like. Students still have the ability to hit control and plus, right? They can still zoom in on the browser, but that's not what we're talking about. We're talking about the resolution of the device, okay? So shift and control and plus, look at that. It just wigs out, doesn't allow them to change it, right? Even if we look at what it looks like on the screen, here I'm hitting plus again, it's just wigging out. It's not zooming in or out, control or minus, control or minus, absolutely not doing it. So awesome, oops, awesome there. Thank you, Matt Brenovic for showing us. Now that prevents one half of the problem. The other problem is when the student jumps into the kiosk app, what's gonna happen, all right? So let's go ahead and test what that looks like. I'm gonna jump back into the Chromebook here and oops, I wanna jump into that one there. And we're gonna click start and we're gonna log out, okay? And we're gonna jump back into this kiosk app. Hopefully here I can have this mirrored. However, I doubt my Chromebook will allow me to mirror here. So let me jump into that. There we go. So right down here, I'm gonna jump into this uh, app. Again, if I hit shift and control and plus or minus, it tries to zoom in, it won't do it, all right? It's setting the default right there. So honestly, probably rebooting the Chromebook right before you take that test, it's probably gonna fix the problem too, all right? So update your 
policy guides, uh, talk to your testing coordinators, have them do that. So now when I click on this and go into Secure Browser, right? My bet is Secure Browser won't work because I don't think you should be able to advertise out that you're using Secure Browser, but who do I know? All right, so I'm gonna jump back over to the top-down view here. So you can see within the Secure Browser, I can still hit Control and Plus, and I can still zoom in, right? If I do this, you can see I can still zoom in and out on the test, all right? Which was part of the problem. The test would freak out and say, hey, you can't do that, all right? Same with Shift, Control, and Plus and minus. Those are the magic keys to make that happen. So anyway, this is going to resolve part of the problem there. There we go. This is going to resolve part of the problem. These are the steps you need to follow. Feel free to give me a thumbs up. And uh, if you ever meet Matt Brenovic, buy him a coffee. I think he drinks coffee. Thank you very much and have a griftastic day.